Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. Today we are going to uh, see operators in Python. So basically there are seven operators in Python. First of all, we'll talk about what are operators. So operators are, are the operations which are performed uh, with the two operands. Operands can be variables, expressions to produce the result. Okay. Now there are seven operators in Python. So the first one is arithmetic operator. Second one is comparison operator, then assignment operator, then logical operator, then bitwise operator, then membership operator, then identity operator. Now we'll see the arithmetic operator and what are the use of arithmetic operator. So as you can see, if I'll do five plus five, basically, basically for calculation, we use the arithmetic operators. So if I'll print this, you will see 10. Now, if I'll do minus, you will see zero. When, when we are multiplying, you will see 25. Now the answer is one. Now, if you do the modulus, then the remainder will be zero. Then, if you do floor division, then the answer will be one. As in, it's already a natural one. If you do the exponential, then it will be three one two five. Now, we have seen the arithmetic operators. Now we'll see the comparison operators. What are the comparison operators? So the comparison operators are uh, equal to if x is 5 and y is equal to 5 so then if we then if we print x equal to here we are telling that if x is equal to equal to so yes it is true because yes x is also 5 and y is also 5 so it is equal to basically this operator is equal to operator now if we'll give not equal to then it will say false as in they are equal so if we are giving not equal to so it will say false now we'll check for greater than so if x is greater than y so it will return false because x is smaller than 5 and if the value is greater than y so it will return true now smaller than here it says x is smaller than y so the answer is false as in x is greater than 5 if it is we'll increase the value of y now if we do it it will return true now, now there is smaller than equal to it means if x is smaller than or equal to y, then it will return true or else it will return false. So here y is smaller than x is greater. Now for that we have to change the value of y. So we will do 17. And here you can see uh, it returns true. Now if we equal the value, that is y is also equal to a, then also it will return true as in it is smaller than and equal to. Now if we will do greater than equal to. Now, now x value is 9 and y's value is 8. So x is greater than or equal to y. So yes, it is true. Now if we we'll check for the equal to and we'll do the value, you can see yes, then also it is true. As in this is nor this is greater and nor nor x is greater, neither y is greater, but they are equal, so that's why it's printing true. Now we'll see the assignment operators. So basically, here are the assignment operators. So this single equal sign is used to assign the values to the variable. So here I have given that 67 and this is the value of x. So assigning the value to a variable, we use this single equal. Now, if I want to do now, if I want to uh, plus two to this 
this 67 without writing 67 plus 2 I'm I will directly do the uh, addition in this value x so for that I have to do that I'll simply write x plus equal to and then I'll write 2 and when I'll print this now if I'll print the x then you can see the value has been increased by 269 the value has become 69 now this now this plus equal to does that this is basically basically x equal to x plus now that is the short form of writing this so that is the short form of writing x equal to x plus 2 so simply we'll write x plus equal to 2 and when we'll run the code it simply do the addition for us now subtraction can also be done like this you can see the value 65 now multiplication and division can also be possible through this so you can see the 67 into 2 is 134 and if we'll do the division then you'll see that 33.5 is our answer and modulus can also be performed by this and you can see the remainder is 1. Now floor division is also possible and here you can see that the answer is 33 as floor division takes the nearest integer value as its answer and we can do exponential also. So you can see 67 square is 4489. Now we'll move to the logical operators. Basically, logical operators are used to combine two conditional statements or conditions. So we'll see that also. So I'll give first x equal to 8, then y equal to 9, y equal to 12. Then Inside the print function, we'll check that x x is greater than seven. We'll give and and then we'll check that y is smaller than ten. Now, if you run the code, you can see it's printing true. As in, x is also greater than seven and y is also greater than ten. So it is printing true because both the statements are true. Now, what if what if a change is too smaller than? Then we'll check. Now it's returning false as one value is one condition is true, but the second condition is false. That's why it's returning false. When we use and operator and logical operator, then both the conditions should be true. Or as many as condition you have mentioned. All the conditions must have to be true, true to to be, make the value true. If one of the conditions is false, then value will be false here. Now, if I change this to greater than, now it both the conditions satisfies as x is also eight is also greater than seven, and twelve is also me sorry. Uh, x is also greater than eight, and twelve is also greater than 10. then. It will return true. Now, what if we'll use what if we will use or? Now, when we use or, then it is true when both the values are true. Now, now it is true when one of the values is also one of the condition is also true. Like here, this condition is false because eight is not greater than nine, but 12 is greater than 10. So this condition satisfies. That's why true get printed. Means or checks for either either of the conditions. Uh, one of the conditions must be true for the value to be true. Or only false uh, in or in or logical operator. Only false will be happen only when when there is the uh, when there is all the values are false. If a single value is true, then it, it will return true or execute the code. Now we will see the not operator. Now basically not logical operator does that. First I will write the syntax. 
how to use it now here basically not reverse the answer uh formerly this was true now when i use the not operator if i'll run the code then you'll see it is false as it reverse the answer first the initially the answer was true now by using the not operation it becomes false now if i do this to do this also false then it will return true as you can see it is returning true so we have seen the logical operator now we'll see the bitwise operator bitwise operator basically uh run on each bit so its name is also bitwise because it runs on every and each bit bit so when we'll do bitwise and operator so if we we'll run the code the answer will be 4 and now if we'll run the or operator for that this sign is used which is which you can find above your enter key on the keyboard we'll run this then the value is shifting now when i'll use the uh zor bitwise operator then the value will be 11 if i'll use the not operator Using the not operator, I have to declare a variable first. Yes. If I run the code, the value will be minus five. This this not operator stores the value by increasing uh, one and then in negative. It 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 basically uh it always give the result as as one and you can see that i have given 5 here it is returning minus 6 it always increase the value and then convert it into negative now left shift and right shift now if you perform this left shift it is generating error yeah i have to take two variables so this is not the correct way to write it so first we'll take the print function then we'll take our variable then give and then we'll add we want to shift it by 2 so we'll do the 2 and you can see 20 has been printed now if we'll do the right shift then one is get printed now this is it for the bitwise operator now we'll see the membership operator that is in and not in so if we'll declare a, a list here for example the list name is fruit and then we are giving orange wait a second these are strings so orange i am banana wow and now we'll see Now we'll do. Uh, we'll print. Use the print function. Then we'll write banana in. Then we'll give our list name that is fruit. If it is if banana is present, then it will return true, or else it will return false. You can see it is returning true now. If I'll print. Now, if I'll print uh, gray, that is not in list. So in fruit, when I'll run the code, you will see first. For so for the banana, it is printing true because banana is present. Now for gray, 
it is printing false because grape is not present. Now we'll use the not in operator. So we'll write simply not in here. Then we'll write not in here too. And if you'll run the code, then you can see it is get reversed. That banana is present, but I am using the not in. So banana not in fruit, so it is false. Means banana is present. Now grape not in fruit, so it will be false, but it is returning true because it satisfies the condition that grape is not present in fruit. And banana is present in fruit. So that's why it's in. the first state print gets false and the second prints get true. Now we'll see the identity operators then we'll declare so we'll give x equal to 5 oh sorry x equal to 5 then we'll give y equal to 5 and then we'll give a z and it will be a list now if we'll print that x is y then see what happens now it's printing true because the value of x and y is true so that's why it's taking true now if i x is z now now it's returning for the first print true and for the second print uh, false because here we can see that x and y are same as both have the value 5 but z have a list list as a value so z is not equal to now we'll see the is not we'll simply give not here then here do will do not and then we'll run the code and then we'll see that now this time the first print returns false and the second print is running true as in x is not y this statement is false as x and y both are same and in the second print x is not z yeah this statement satisfies because x is not same as z so it returns true so that's it for the operator we have covered all the operator here thank you for watching the video